Hi, this is Janet with Paper and Spark with part three of how to use your Etsy seller spreadsheet. Um, on this part of the video tutorial, I'm going to talk to you about the sales tax tab. So if um, you're lucky enough to be in a state that doesn't have sales tax, you don't need to worry about using this tab. If you're in one of the many states that do have sales tax, you may find this tab helpful. Um, but I will say that sales taxes, um, it's a state by state thing. Every state has different rules. Every state requires different information. So please do your research first. Figure out what the sales, sales tax requirements are for your state and um, make sure you're doing that correctly and charging sales tax correctly before you uh, use this tab of the spreadsheet. Okay, so the first thing that this tab is going to do is on this light blue line right here, it's gonna automatically pull the um, sales taxes amounts that you're collecting from your Etsy sales. Okay, so if you have your Etsy set up to charge sales tax, then this line is just gonna summarize for you how much you collected, all right? That doesn't necessarily mean it's the right amount that you should be collecting, it's just summing what you actually did collect for you. The next two sections of the sales tax tab are to help you fill out your sales tax form. Now, first things first, you might need to be filing your sales tax form on a monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, or annual basis. Um, right now, the spreadsheet is just going to tell you your monthly amounts. So if you need the monthly amount, you've got it. If you need the annual amount, you've got it. If you need a quarterly amount, you can sum the quarter by adding those three months together. If you need a semi-annual amount, you can sum those six months by adding those six months together. Any way you need to do it, the spreadsheet will give you the amounts that you need. Um, secondly, this, uh, these, this section of the spreadsheet is going to give you two numbers that you may need for your sales tax form. The first that a lot of sales tax forms add, uh, ask for is going to be your total sales. Now your state might have a different way of wording that, but most sales tax forms are going to ask you in one way or another for your total sales for that period. Um, to all sources, to all customers, not just in state, just your total sales for that period. And that's what this first line is going to tell you. Okay, your total sales. And then your sales tax form is probably going to ask you in some way, shape, or form for your in state sales for that period. Okay. I know that my state, Texas, asks for that by saying, what's your taxable sales? It doesn't say, what's your Texas sales? What's your in-state sales? It says, what's your taxable sales? So however your state asks for that, another amount that you probably need to know is going to be your in-state sales amount. And that's what this line's telling you here. So that's really what this tab is is calculating for you your total sales to all sources and your in-state sales to those just in your state and your sales tax form is probably going to ask for more info than that it's probably going to ask for some purchasing information and that kind of thing as well but um, this tab is going to give you those two amounts so to use this tab we need to focus on two things. First, you need to enter your sales tax state in this little yellow cell right here, just the two letter abbreviation for your state. And what that is doing is it's telling um, the spreadsheet, okay, spreadsheet, look at these tabs and look at the ship state. Any ship state that is Texas, um, tell me those sales totals. So you can make that be whatever state you need to be looking at. Right now I'm looking at Alabama. Um, okay, 
The other thing that you need to know is whether or not your state charges sales tax on shipping. Some states do, some states don't. I've given you the amounts you need for both scenarios, okay? So this first set of rows right here is if your state does charge sales taxes on shipping. Then I include your total sales, including shipping, and your total in-state sales, including shipping as well. If your state doesn't charge sales tax on shipping, then I've got your total sales not including shipping and your total in-state sales also not including shipping. Okay? So either way, um, you'll have the numbers you need, but you need to know which one you need to look at. Don't just guess. Another thing to note about this sales tax tab is that this, is, this information just represents your Etsy sales. So if you're selling via other venues like craft shows or your own website or whatever, you're going to need to include that information on your sales tax return too. Um, I would recommend maybe typing in the other info that you need you know, down here on the sales tax tab just to keep it all in, in one place. Um, but you can do it however you need to. Just remember that this is only your Etsy stuff right here. Okay, so that is pretty much a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to use your Etsy seller spreadsheet. Um, you've got imports directly from Etsy to get all your Etsy sales in one place. You've got detailed expense tracking that you can enter all those different expense receipts into with expense categories that correspond pretty closely to your tax deductions. And you can use this spreadsheet as a basis um, to back up your expenses and to give to your accountant at tax time to calculate your deductions for you. You can use your monthly summary tab to determine whether your business is making a net profit or a loss every month. Remember that your net profit is simply going to equal your total revenue minus your total expenses to get either net profit if it's positive or net loss if it's a negative here. Um, you can also see your total net profit uh, on a yearly basis. You can compare your sales on a month-to-month -month basis and your expenses on a month-to-month -month basis. You can set goals or create a budget for your expenses um, based on looking at prior month's data. You can um, set goals like say, I want to save up to go to this conference in September, so I need to you know, net at least X amount by June in order to be able to afford it. Um, and you can also keep tabs of sales taxes and sales tax info that you might need for your uh, sales tax forms. So I hope that um, this spreadsheet is helpful for you. I hope that it makes your entrepreneurial life easier and makes you more confident about your business's finances. If you have any questions about it as you go along or if you have any suggestions on how you think this tool could be improved, I'd love to hear from you. You can email me at paperandspark at gmail.com or visit me online at paperandspark.com. Thanks!